Hey Brett, we're going to the park, are you ready? Yeah. All right. Welcome to Wine, wine Jam! Wine Jam! This time around we're actually looking at wine accessories, which you're thinking, what? Why? You're outdoors, you kind of want to get the right accessories, and there are loads out there, from yep. what I saw. Uh, hundreds, would mm. you say? Yeah. We had it at ten, and then we reduced it down to five. So we start with, at number five... It's a wine to go. Which is a uh, plastic sleeve that holds wine, the whole bottle of wine, by the way. Mm. For you to take to the park, for you to take outside anywhere, which is quite good, especially, I think, for more camping. It makes sense, because you could probably pack quite a lot of them in a bag. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's say five bottles, that's quite a lot, but if you have five of these wine to goes, then it won't take much space at all. Yeah, exactly. So it's very thin, very thin. The plastic itself means it doesn't kind of taint the wine as well. Mm. Number four mm -hmm. was the Coxicle Canteen. Thermos looking thing. It just basically keeps the temperature for a long period. So if it's cold white wine or warm red wine. So basically if you want to keep the wine at the right temperature for a long period of time, we thought this was kind of perfect that way. Yeah. Whereas the wine to go, because it's in plastic sleeve, the wine might get warm quite quickly. That's what yeah. we were thinking. If you think about glass, uh, that it could break, but if you pour, pour it into one of these, then that's maybe no chance of that happening. Yeah, that's the big advantage of that, actually. So number three, we have as outdoor wine bottle holder. Yes. Uh, yes, this, this, <laughs> yes. This remind me again. What was this again? This was the uh, the lovely stick in the ground with ah, the uh, yes, of course, <laughs> the wine glasses <laughs> and the bottle of wine. So you basically stick these rods into the ground, mm -hmm. as you can see, and then it holds the wine glass and it holds um, the bottle of wine as well yeah. up from the ground. So let's say you go to the park again, or you're outdoors, even in your own back garden. Quite nice to kind of have something that's uh, just. Not on the ground, basically. It looks good and it's quite easy to use. The only problem is you need to make sure you've got enough of them for the amount of people that are going to be there. And it, I think it's perfect for a barbecue. Number two was ice meal. It's kind of like a rucksack, but specifically to keep cold drinks. Yeah. We, we are talking about beer as well as, as white wine. It's got a flat bottom. It's like a rucksack. Yeah. You basically can fill it up with ice and water, put bottles of wine in there, like three or four, I think even one can hold five bottles of wine, which means it not just keeps the wine cold, it also chills it by the time you get to the park or anywhere else, and it doesn't leak, so that's why it's up there at number two. Number one, your favorite, and so you might as well go and describe it to us. So what it is, you put it in the wine, and it's just kind of like a, like a big ice stick. Yeah, that's yeah. the best way of putting it. Uh, I mean, you'll see what we're looking yeah. at. Um, so if, if you know the kind of like the, the sort of fake ice that you get to keep your drinks cold. This is kind of like the same thing. So it goes all the way down the bottle and chills it straight away. The best one we found was one that when you put it in on the top, it also allows you to pour it out through the corkscrew itself, mm -hmm. out into the glass. And so it means you don't have to keep fussing about taking it in and out all the time. Secondly, it aerates. So it does all three things. And aeration is makes the wine breathe once it comes out, which sometimes you have to pay separately just to get the aerator. Mm. So it does three things in one kind of go. And, I, and that's why for us, um, ease of use and the fact you can carry it around wherever you're going yeah. was our number one. And also, what's even better, they actually do some bottled beers. And I think that's pretty amazing. So you just buy warm beer, put it in, and it's cold. Yeah. It's ideal. But there is only one bad thing about this for both the beer and the wine version, is there's a chance you might throw it away. So don't get too drunk. Yeah, like you put it in, you throw the bottle away, and then you go, where's that, I put, I, you know, the yeah. cork icicle gun. We're gonna run through it again, so that's wine to go. Number five. The canteen. Number four. The outdoor wine bottle holder. Number three. The ice mule. That's number two, and number one is? The corkscrew. Thanks for watching at Wine Jam. We hope to see you soon and hope you subscribe. Coming up soon will be Crafty Laws are doing some beers. Yeah. Some rather good craft beers. Five beers. Four, five, or five. He's it pretty was sure. Three. <laughs> <laughs> <Or now it's> <laughs> <five>. <laughs> All right, guys. See you yeah. soon.